been missing since March. Her body has never been found, but today police believe they finally know who killed her. CBS News Chris Ty is always investigating and steps through the grueling police work that led to the arrest. The last person to see Chantel Bryla alive was her regular cab driver, dropping her off here to her Southside apartment on March 15th. Two weeks earlier, she'd kicked Marvin Bailey out of her place. But the very next day after that cab ride, he was back. Alone with her for 12 hours until he and a friend took an Uber to this nearby Walmart, where they bought bungee cords and plastic ties. Two hours later, this time using a lift car, the defendant and his friend left the apartment with a massive blue bin with wheels on it. In the day that followed, prosecutors say they made their way to a vacant apartment building with that bin, collecting Bailey's green truck in the process, all while stopping to eat and drink, police say, using Bryla's ATM card to fund it. The next day, en route to this Calumet Park Hotel, where they would camp out for several nights, they were pulled over. This court document says the defendant and his friend, Witness 3, were detained by police. The officers were told the defendant and friend were on their way to Home Depot to get a chainsaw. This was on body cam video. The defendant and his friend released without any citations, and the green van was not searched. They continued on. A broken elevator at the hotel left them carrying that blue bin up three flights of stairs. During their stay, the manager reported smelling cleaning solution. That same week at 4 a.m., surveillance video shows Bailey using a dolly to move the bin behind this strip mall where these dumpsters sit. His return trip captures him with no bin. Days later, a strip mall worker noticed a large black bag where it didn't belong in that dumpster. Bailey now charged with her murder. Though the body has never been found, the blue bin did have her DNA inside and blood evidence found inside that hotel room, inside her apartment, and that green van. Her friend tonight telling CBS2. The biggest thing that comes to the mind of all of us is why did it take so long? To find that body, police actually scoured an Indiana landfill where that dumpster is emptied. Nothing was found there. What is the connection, you may ask, between these two individuals? Chante had a child with Marvin Bailey's father. Bailey, by the way, was out on parole for hitting an ex-girlfriend with a hammer and then setting her on fire. He is being held this afternoon without bond. Live in the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.